release pyramid power for a great new life of superabundance. Today, more than ever before, the entire world is interested in the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Built by the ancient pharaoh Chiefs, the Great Pyramid at Giza was built about 3000 BC. The other pyramids were begun by the kings of Egypt at Saqqara. Throughout the ages, they have stood as symbols of mystery and strange powers. Now modern scientists believe that the pyramid form is capable of giving out a mysterious type of energy, which can be harnessed and utilized to perform seeming miracles. In Chapter 1, you were given the initiation ceremony used by the ancient Egyptians to bring about a complete rebirth in consciousness. Now you will be taken a step further in using the mystical rituals and invocations to release vast stores of latent psychic energy within your higher mind, so you can instantly begin to benefit from the use of pyramid power. This chapter will disclose the various forms of pyramid power and show you how to channel this awesome energy for health, power, and a life of superabundance. Mystical and Esoteric Symbology in the Pyramids Since the discovery of the Rosetta Stone, which gave the key to the hieroglyphics, the picture writing used by the ancient Egyptians, Many of the Egyptian secrets have been learned by modern scientists. We now know that the pyramids were filled with mystical and esoteric symbology and were built according to astrological knowledge that was greater than that possessed by modern astronomers. In fact, finely ground lenses were recently found in the king's chamber in the Pyramid of Giza that scientists say could only have been made by machines. Predictions that have been found in the carvings of the walls of the pharaoh's tombs in the Valley of the Kings are said to be amazingly accurate and have prophesied events that take us right up to our modern age of atomic energy. In fact, one of these picture writings foretells that in the Aquarian age, a ball of fire comes from the West, which could entirely destroy all civilization. This undoubtedly refers to the atomic bomb. Strange Powers Possessed by the Mind of Man The ancient Egyptians believed that the human mind possessed strange and unusual powers. They taught that the mind could set vibrations into motion that would act upon the molecules and atoms of creation, bringing about profound changes in the structure of matter and the materialization of new and unusual products. We have seen this in our modern age of science, where man has split the atom, releasing the power of a thousand suns, and in the creation of new products like plastics, artificial building materials, cloth, foods, and synthetic products, which have changed the face of the earth in modern times. The ancient Egyptians believed in the soul and its survival after life. They taught that the world was constructed of three primary forms, a dome, a block or square, and a pyramid. These three primary forms were further broken down into what they called rays, the first ray is shown as a circle with a dot inside. This undoubtedly relates to procreation, wherein the male cell penetrates the female cell to begin the mystical process of life. The second ray was shown as a cross, which represents the balance that elements must maintain. The third ray was shown as a triangle or pyramid shape, representing the mystical triplicity of man, God, and the universe. In the Christian religion we also have this mystical trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In psychology, this symbol represents the conscious, the subconscious, and the superconscious minds. The fourth ray was shown as two pyramids together, one turned upside down on the other. This symbol is used by some fraternal organizations. When the lines of these two pyramids are joined together, they form the picture of the Star of David, utilized by the ancient Jewish faith. The fifth ray was shown as a pyramid on top of a square. The sixth ray was pictured as four interlocked circles. A modified form of this sixth ray has been used as the Grecian Olympic Games symbol. The seventh ray was shown as a swastika, which was used by the Indian tribes of North America as their national symbol. Mystical Rites in the Temple of Osiris The ancient Egyptians were great believers in magic. They taught that man is made up of the same elemental forces that were used in building the universe from these seven astral rays. They performed mystical rites in the Temple of Osiris in which they invoked the elements of air, fire, earth and water to perform miracles. We see this reflected in the miracles of Jesus, the Christian mystic, when he turned water into wine. He also proved the conquest of the human mind over the elements 
when he performed his amazing miracle of walking upon the troubled waters. He was able to feed the multitudes with the loaves and fishes, proving the magical power of materialization of substance from the very air. He healed the sick by transforming the sickly body cells into healthy living matter. These great feats were all proofs that a magical power does exist in the universe, and that man may also tap this hidden, mystical power for his own living miracles. The Miraculous Gushing Fountain in the Egyptian Desert When I was in Egypt recently, with a group of seventy people, we visited the shrine that has been set up where Jesus and the Holy Family lived after they fled into Egypt to avoid persecution. There, in the basement of that holy chapel, in the midst of a desert, near the Great Pyramid of Giza, a fountain of water gushed up and is still flowing copiously after nearly two thousand years. The element of water is symbolic of the spiritual baptism and represents the flow of celestial power from on high when a person is reborn in the consciousness of his own soul's immortality. Miracles have been performed in this sacred spot where the sick have been healed, and the requests of believers have been granted for health, happiness, money, business, and romantic success. This release of mystical power is what we shall now experience together in our further study of pyramid power for a great new life of superabundance. The Ritual of Sun Blending for Miracle Working Power 1. You will now prepare yourself for the Ritual of Sun Blending to release miracle working power within your own higher mind centers. The ancient Egyptians were monotheistic and believed in one God. Their religious faith resembled that of modern Christian nations, but they used various symbols for their rituals, such as the sun and the moon. They paid honors to a number of gods, but they never placed those gods on the same high level as the one god that they worshipped. As the sun was the symbol of life, energy, health, and unlimited power, they used the temple of Osiris to concentrate on the golden sun to give them miracle-working powers for healing, rejuvenation, vital life energy, long life, and creative mental activity. Mystical Ritual in the Temple of Osiris for Healing 2. You will now prepare yourself for the mystical ritual in the Temple of Osiris by withdrawing into a quiet center in your own environment, where you will not be disturbed for a period of one hour. Have a picture of a pyramid, or better still, a small model of a pyramid in wood or metal or plastic, somewhere on a table before you as you perform this ritual. Be aware that this pyramid represents the focusing of all your mental and spiritual energies for the purpose of performing miracles in your own life. 3. Still your conscious mind with this statement. I now concentrate all my mental powers on the absorption of pyramid power to perform miracles in my own life. I recognize Osiris, the symbol of the sun in our universe. This symbol now releases its life-giving energies, and I am bathed in the golden light of the sun. It flows through my mind, body, and spirit, releasing its health-restoring, life-giving elements that bring me instant healing. 4. You are now ready to direct the flow of miracle-working power from the golden spiritual sun that created the universe to your body in order to achieve a perfect healing of any negative condition that may exist. Repeat the following invocation for healing. I now blend with the golden light of the spiritual sun that is behind the universe. I absorb the healing celestial rays of the golden sun and respond to its stimulating, life-giving force. I now blend with the invigorating power of the sun, and I take on its radiant quality of life energy, power, and magnetism. I become healed of all bodily afflictions as the life-sustaining power of the sun now flows through every nerve, cell, and tissue of my body. I am perfect. I am restored. I am young. I am healthy. I am powerful. I am in the golden magic circle of the power that sustains all life. Testimony number 31 Gertrude D. was completely healed with sun blending ritual. One of my lecture members in Los Angeles, Gertrude D., had been sick for some time, and doctors did not seem to be able to help her. She suffered from severe abdominal cramps, particularly at her menstrual cycles each month. She also had low energy and vitality, and had to remain in bed for many days, not able to face even her household tasks, because she had no appetite, 
she was losing weight to such an extent that it became dangerous to her health. It was at this time that she sought out our studies in mysticism and learned about the sun-blending exercise in the Temple of Osiris. Gertrude began to practice this meditation technique, concentrating on the healing rays of the sun. She absorbed the pyramid power that flowed throughout her body as she concentrated on a small metal pyramid that she kept before her while she did her rituals. She said the above pyramid power statement several times a day and soon began to feel more relaxed and stronger physically. Within two weeks' time, Gertrude reported that she had more energy than before and the abdominal cramps had stopped completely. She was soon back at her normal weight and was completely healed. Summon the power of Osiris to overcome habits such as smoking. 5. You can also use this mystical ritual in the Temple of Osiris for other purposes. You can ask for power to overcome negative habits, to help you gain strength for meeting the challenges of life, to release mental and physical power for prolonged creative efforts in your work. This exercise in sun blending focalizes the golden rays of the sun in your mind and psychic centers and brings about a tremendous increase in your mental and physical powers. Testimony number 32 Daryl J. Used sun blending to quit smoking. A 35-year-old man, Daryl J., had smoked for 15 years when he first came into our work. He had tried in every way to stop this dangerous habit, but to no avail. When he discovered the sun blending exercise from the Temple of Osiris, he began using the following invocation daily for a period of three weeks, and he was soon able to completely stop his harmful habit. Here is the invocation to the sun that Daryl used. I now blend with the golden light of the sun to gain strength of mind and body. I desire to stop the harmful habit of smoking. I know that this habit is dangerous to my health, and I sincerely want to stop. I now recognize the power that is symbolized by the purifying rays of the golden sun. I absorb the energy and strength of the sun in my mind and body. I now become strong and determined. I blend with the sun and absorb its healing rays. My bigger mind centers now are given the strength and determination to stop smoking. I breathe in the life-giving strength of the golden sun, and its power now flows through my body in a tidal wave of life and energy, causing me to no longer desire cigarettes. I am healed of this noxious habit. How to use pyramid money power through sun blending. 6. Pyramid money power can be released through the use of this mystical ritual from the Temple of Osiris, known as sun blending. To use this power to increase your supply of money, sit quietly in meditation, using the symbol of the pyramid to help you concentrate your creative energies on money. Mentally visualize the light of the sun streaming earthward, causing all life to grow and evolve. See the products of earth springing up in the spring and summer, blessing humanity with fruits, vegetables, grains, and all kinds of products to sustain human life. All Earth's treasures come from the power of the sun. Realize that the golden sun is responsible for all of the Earth's treasures. Lumber to build your dream home comes from the energy of the sun. The coal, oil, diamonds, healing herbs, and food products are evidences that the golden light of the sun is being transformed by the law of alchemy into all the products we need to sustain us throughout our earthly existence. Now invoke this power of the golden sun with this invocation for money and the things that money can buy. I now absorb the golden energy of the sun and receive the creative ideas and inspiration that can bring me an inexhaustible flow of riches and abundance. I invoke the law of cosmic alchemy to transform my creative ideas into riches. I magnetize the centers of my consciousness with the power of attraction and project the sum of $50,000 which shall come to me from an unexpected source. I ask for a home of my own, beautiful furnishings in that home, a color TV set, a car of my own, and all other things that I need for my future comfort and security. I also wish to have in my bank account the sum of $50,000 or more to give me future security. Testimony number 33 How Helen F. Used Pyramid Money Power to Attract a Fortune When Helen F., came into our work in Carnegie Hall, 
She was so poor that she could hardly buy enough food to feed her two children. Her husband had deserted her after the birth of her second child, and she could not locate him, so she had to set to work to pay her own way in life. Helen began to use the money pyramid ritual and sun blending to increase her money supply. Within one week, she obtained a job in a health food store where she learned how much money could be made in that business. Helen kept projecting the sum of $35,000 in her sun blending exercise each night before she went to sleep. She had no idea where she could ever obtain such a large sum of money. Remember, this was done at a time when money was scarce, not plentiful as it is today with inflation and high costs. But she had faith that in some way she could attract this sum of money through the use of her mystical powers. One day, a man came into the health food store, and Helen waited on him with courtesy and efficiency. She sold him a great many items with her super persuasive sales ability, and the man seemed very impressed. Before he left, he gave her his card and told her to look him up when she had time, as he had an interesting business proposition to make. The upshot of that chance meeting was that Helen did look this man up and discovered that he was a famous health lecturer and author. When she talked to him, she found out that he wanted to open a health food store with someone he could trust, as he was on the road lecturing and promoting his books. He felt that he had found the right person. He suggested that he put up the sum of $35,000 for capital and that she could give her services in an equal partnership in which she would run the business. Helen received her $35,000 in this most unusual way. They opened their health food store on Long Island and soon had such a big business that they had four salespersons working for them. And Helen soon had her own home, a big sum of money in the bank, her own car, and the security for her two children that she had asked for in her invocation and use of pyramid money power. How to keep a steady flow of money coming through pyramid power. 7. In order to ensure yourself of a steady flow of money through pyramid money power, you can now begin to use the symbol that is given on every dollar bill printed in the United States. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was a great student of the occult and mystical, discovered pyramid power back in the early 30s when he was president. He had the mystical symbol of the pyramid printed on the reverse side of every dollar bill in the middle of a magic circle, which represented the sun god, Osiris. To utilize this pyramid money power symbol, take a dollar bill, look at the pyramid on the green side, and then fold the bill in half with the green side showing. Then fold the two upper corners of the dollar bill back, making a pyramid shape over the printed pyramid on the dollar bill. This now forms a perfect pyramid. Ritual to Project Pyramid Money Power To project pyramid money power, sit quietly in meditation. Hold the folded dollar bill in your hand, with the pyramid showing. Concentrate your mind on that pyramid, and repeat the following money invocation. I now concentrate my mind on pyramid money power. I project a flow of creative mind power to this symbol of money and ask that I be granted a perpetual flow of money, jewels, lands, houses, cars, house furnishings, clothes, and other things of value that I require in my life. I now project the sum of $5,000 that shall come to me within the next three months' time. I ask for jewelry and other things of. I project a steady flow of money and other treasures that shall enrich my life and give me financial security for the future. 8. When you have done the pyramid money power ritual, you can place the pyramid-shaped dollar bill into your purse and each day keep the tip of it showing in your pocketbook, so every time you spend money, you can see this symbol of money power. This will constantly activate your higher mind centers with inspiration to attract large sums of money. Use this mystical money mantra to attract more money. 9. At least once a day sit in meditation and remind your higher psychic mind centers of this pyramid money power. You can intone the following meditation mantras for increasing your supply of money. I now attract to myself money, money, money. I become rich and abundantly blessed. I see a stream of gold flowing into my life. As the golden sun gives the earth power to produce riches, so too, my mind is now stimulated to creative ideas that will make me rich. 
Money, 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 money. Testimony number 34. Marvin P. Used pyramid money power for security. Marvin P. was a salesman of household furnishings, working in a large store that specialized in refrigerators, vacuum cleaners, TV sets, and washing machines. He made a good living, but not enough to give him a feeling of financial security for the future of his family of three children. When Marvin began coming to my classes in mysticism, he frankly admitted that he wanted to increase his income and be able to own a home, a beautiful new car, and other things that he and his wife desired. In the classes, we studied about pyramid money power and the sun blending exercises to increase one's riches. He began to practice these rituals every night. He also formed the money pyramid with his dollar bill. He slept with this under his pillow every night and also carried one in his wallet every day. He also projected the mental symbol of the third ray, which was the pyramid, all day when he made his sales in the store. He began to notice immediate benefits. The first week his sales increased by 25%. Then, in his second week, he won a color TV set at a drawing in his local church. He then began concentrating in earnest on pyramid money power. Within two months' time, he had become the most successful salesman in his field, and his sales doubled. His commissions were soon twice what they had been before. He had been driving a shabby old car, of which he was ashamed. So he began to project the image of a new car and concentrated on the fifth ray picture of a pyramid on top of a square, which was the symbol of a home. The car came to him within two months' time, and at the end of his first year, he had sufficient money to pay a substantial down payment on his first dream home. Pyramid Money Power began dumping money into his lap from so many other sources that Marvin P. never again felt the financial pinch that had hounded him most of his life. Mystical Rites in the Temple of Isis Besides the rituals in the Temple of Osiris, the sun god, the ancient Egyptians performed another amazing ritual in the pyramids. This took place in the Temple of Isis and was symbolic of the moon goddess. As the sun blending in the Temple of Osiris represented the masculine qualities of strength, aggression, courage, power, and healing, so too, the moon blending in the Temple of Isis was symbolic of the feminine virtues of truth, beauty, peace, love, generosity, kindness, creativity, and joy. Ritual performed in the Temple of Isis for peace and tranquility. The neophytes in this ritual of moon blending performed the following invocation ceremony. I now concentrate all my mental powers on the absorption of the silvery light of the moon. The peace and beauty that flow from this celestial orb now fill my mind and soul with infinite peace and radiant beauty. I now become serene and tranquil as I bask in the silvery light of the full moon. Its beauty and romance are now reflected in my mind and soul. Its magnetism and power of attraction now cause me to draw into the orbit of my daily experience, the situations and people that benefit my life in every way. I become magnetic and charming. I attract true love and friendship. I take on the qualities represented by the moon goddess Isis. These are qualities of truth, beauty, peace, love, generosity, kindness, creativity, and joy. My life now flowers with every good and precious gift bestowed upon me by the serene and majestic presence of this beautiful planet, the moon. Testimony number 35 How Dorothy B used moon blending to change her life. A woman I once knew, Dorothy B., who studied these mystical secrets of sun and moon blending, had suffered all her life from feelings of shyness, inferiority, and inadequacy. She was not beautiful, and she was not able to attract boys when she was at an age where most girls begin to date. She felt that she was doomed to a life of unhappiness and loneliness until she discovered Egyptian pyramid power as represented by the moon blending in the Temple of Isis. I told her to visualize herself as being an ancient queen in Egypt, entering the Temple of Isis to invoke the moon's magnetism and beauty. She was told to believe that the moon infused her aura with a romantic presence that men would instantly feel. She was then told to do the above ritual of moon blending, 
feeling that she was taking on the qualities represented by the moon goddess Isis. She added the following invocation statements to her moon-blending exercise. I am bathed in an aura of majestic beauty. This spiritual aura transcends the physical body and gives me inner beauty and radiance. I now become a magnet that attracts into my aura the true soul mate that I desire. I walk in the consciousness of beauty, peace, and tranquility. I am loving and kind, and others feel the sense of goodness, peace, and love that dwell within me. I now dwell in a radiant circle of charm and enchantment. Everyone who comes into my presence feels this mystical power and reacts with love. Dorothy practiced this ritual in the Temple of Isis every day, twice a day, for only fifteen minutes, and within a few days' time, she began to go through an amazing transformation that others instantly noticed. She carried her head as though wearing a crown. Her eyes had an inner glow that seemed to suffuse her features with an inner, translucent beauty that made her face actually look beautiful. Within a few weeks' time, Dorothy was so confident and poised that she began to go out more socially. At a party in a friend's home, she met a good-looking young doctor who had just begun practicing medicine, and he showed an interest in her. He was so intrigued by the aura of mystery and enchantment that Dorothy had that he asked if he could see her again. Thus began a courtship that later ended in a marriage that brought Dorothy the true soulmate she had asked for in her invocation to Isis. Mystomatic Pointers 1. Concentrate on the drawing of a circle with a dot in the center and affirm. I am surrounded by the magic circle of God's creative life energy. I move in the direction of my eternal good. 2. Concentrate on the second celestial ray of a cross and affirm. I now manifest the cross of balance in all my life affairs. Work is balanced by play. Love is balanced by worship of God. 3. Concentrate on a small pyramid and affirm. I recognize the spiritual triplicity of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I become an antenna between heaven and earth, receiving cosmic power for good. 4. Draw a picture of a pyramid, and then on top of this another pyramid upside down. The fourth celestial ray now affirm. I recognize the two worlds in which I live, the world of mind and spirit. I now live in the spiritual reality of my life dream. 5. Draw a picture of a square and a pyramid on top of the square. Affirm. I now contact the cosmic mind that created all things. I ask for divine inspiration to achieve my great goals in life. 6. Draw two circles side by side, then one circle on top of these two, and another circle on the bottom. This is the sixth celestial ray. Now affirm. I now dwell in harmony with all creation. I have order in my mind and my life shall be orderly, harmonious and prosperous. 7. Withdraw into quiet meditation each day and affirm. 1. Recognize the positive polarity of good in my life. I draw upon pyramid power to give me life energy, riches and abundance. 